Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video about my go-to technique for dodging and burning. Uh, I was working on this photo, realized I was already done it twice, figured I'd turn the camera back on. Uh, I've talked about it before, wanted to remind you again about this technique in Lightroom that is, it's my go-to for uh, controlling shadow and light when I'm finishing up the, the finishing touches on a photo, those last, last little five, 10% things we do to get that image right to where we want it. And this is the kind of stuff that I talk about in my course, Mastering Light and Shadow in Lightroom, everything from the foundation of the histogram and you know why we control light through all the tools that we have in Lightroom from basic sliders all the way up through masking and advanced techniques like this. So, so let's check out this image. All right, for this image here, I've effectively finished up what I was gonna do on it. I've turned off a couple of the, the masks that I added. And just to show you the, the before and after, so with this shadow enhancer, watching the lower left area of the photo, what I'm trying to do is deepen certain areas on the left before and after. Kind of, kind of sweeping from like you know here, kind of curving around and finding shadows and deepening them, just to push the viewer's eye into the center of the photo, and a little bit of deepening on this hillside out here before and after, giving just a little more depth to the photo. And then we have a burn doing the highlight accent, uh, the the polar opposite really, drawing attention to the valley floor. I'm going to increase the brightness on these highlights, as well as the little flecks of uh, you know brighter areas in the mountains before and after. And that one's really subtle. Check those mountains out before, after, and the valley floor before, after. So let me turn those off. And you know, well, what's the technique? The technique, I use this all the time. Luminance range plus a brush, and the key is to intersect the two, so you only get the overlap between them. So the technique, luminance range plus a brush. So we're gonna grab a luminance range. Let's go ahead and do the highlights. So I've chosen my luminance range mask, and I need to pick something in the highlight area. So I'm just working on the valley floor here. So we'll we'll click like right about there. Here's our mask. We get this, you know, this overlay of of things, and then we can refine it, right? We we shape the luminance range to what we want. Fewer highlights, more highlights, something like this. I do like to have a pretty healthy feather to taper things off so it looks natural. And then, with the luminance range still selected, we'll do intersect with a brush. Now, wherever I paint from this point forward, if the tonal range is within my luminance range, that's what will show up. And so we'll just paint like a, a lazy S right across the valley floor there, kind of like that, right? Now the luminance range is helping protect uh, things that are outside of it, right? I'm only affecting the, the highlights. Like I'm brushing over the shadowy areas of these grasses and rocks and nothing's happening, right? So I get a nice clean mask and then I can do something with my tonal range. So here, you know, if I increase exposure, you know, we can see that really jump up and I can, you know, be pretty generous with that, that boost and then finish off with you know some sweeps through here and then up in the mountains as well. We're gonna do this, we'll be hitting just those bright areas. Now look at my paintbrush. I'm just, I'm painting all over the place here, but the overlay, you're only gonna see small bits and pieces. Same thing over here to prove the point, right? I'm brushing all through this mountain, but the luminance range intersected with the brush is protecting that. And so in the end, I get this very nice a little, little highlight accent before and then after. So that's the technique. I know I talk about it a lot, but it is my go-to. Hope you also check out the course, Mastering Light and Shadow in Lightroom. Uh, it, it'll take you through everything that I know and use to craft light and shadow and photos. It'll help you be a stronger visual storyteller. Got questions? Drop them below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.